Hey, you too. Welcome back to my channel. This is Nathan Daly. I am your law enforcement translator, you guys, a 13 year law enforcement veteran here to provide insight and perspective on current event topics, especially those involving law enforcement. So listen, as you guys know what's going on and the, the tragic, tragic mass shooting out there in Sacramento, we're going to talk about it today, give you guys some updates. I told you I keep you posted. Now, listen, real quick, let me give a special shout out to my subscribers. You guys, thank you so much for your support. Listen, uh, please, if you're um, on this channel for the first time, please hit the like button, subscribe. My goal is to hit the 10,000 before May 9th. That's my mother's birthday, so shout out to moms. Uh, so far, you guys are doing good. So if you're new and you like this channel, want to support, please like and subscribe. So let's talk about this. I'm going to pull up a news clip. Listen, they made the first arrest uh, just a day ago. Now they have two more in custody. You guys, we just found out that two of them are brothers. You know, senseless foolishness, senseless violence, you guys. So let's dive into um, the uh, the clip and let's discuss it. And then I'm going to give you guys my perspective. Um, I'm not surprised. You know, I had a feeling this was going to be somewhat gang related. Um, but it's just, it's all senseless, man. At the end of the day, the, the violence in this country is at an all-time high. For you guys who don't know, a lot of our major cities, the violent crime is up about 30 to 40%. And it's just getting worse, you know. Um, so let's look at this clip. Um, and then also um, to all the family uh, who have lost, who have lost some loved ones, you know. Uh, please keep them in your prayers, you guys. This is extremely tragic. For arrest today in connection with Sunday's downtown mass shooting that left six people dead. Let's run down the suspect's names. Davion Dawson, DeAndre Martin, and his older brother, Smiley Martin, all of these suspects face gun charges. None is charged with homicide, but CBS 13, just within the past hour, uncovering court documents showing the Sacramento DA tried to block Smiley Martin's early release from prison in February, but he was let out anyway. The 27th. You know, you guys, listen, again, this is early release on, on criminals who have committed violent crimes. This is a problem in this country. This is a known problem. I had to deal with it often, you know, never understood it. You know, sometimes these judges would just release people for whatever reason. Um, we saw this in, with COVID, right? Um, we we saw it with um, um, the Rayshard Brooks situation. He was an old, early release, and uh, he was in for domestic violence. He was in prison uh, serving time for that, and, you know, he got released early. And, you know, again, that's just one example Though he, he wasn't such, he wasn't like a violent criminal. But, you know, we have to understand, you know, when we release people early and they're in there for a violent offense, it's a 50-50 shot, right? It's a crapshoot, unfortunately. But what happens? They come out and then they reoffend, right? And so I think one of the biggest issues is that a lot of people want to be sympathetic uh, to their situation when people commit crimes or violent crimes. and like, oh, they've been in for seven years, though they have 10 years they're supposed to serve. I guess it won't hurt to let them out. Now, listen, I, I have mixed feelings about it because at the same time, time doesn't necessarily um, mean correction, right? At the end of the day, it's a crapshoot. It's a 50-50 thing when you decide to release uh, a violent offender out early. Because you have situations like this where they actually reoffend and then cause more problems. They become more difficult to deal with. And when they commit a crime, they're less likely to want to be taken in custody again because they know that they will have to uh, possibly serve out the remainder of their sentence. So it becomes a slippery slope, you guys. Um, I don't like it. I'm not one to vouch for those who are uh, violent criminals. I believe if you do the crime, then the time you must do as well, right? Seven-year-old is now in police custody in a hospital bed. He was shot Sunday. Investigators are charging him with having a machine gun. Okay. That's it. Listen, you guys, I said it in my first video. I talked about this, that there had to have been a automatic weapon, like a rifle. He had a machine gun. If you heard the, the sound of the gun go off, that was one weapon. Now, the crazy thing about this is the person who got shot, one of the 16 who got shot, is actually one of the shooters involved or one of the criminals involved. Case in point, you guys check out my first video that I did 
That's one of my biggest speculations. I, I would not be surprised if one of the people who were shot or killed were actually physically involved in the altercation. Um, and there you have it. It's ridiculous. Well, more on that in a moment, but we begin with his brother, DeAndre, who faced a judge within the past hour. Thanks so much for joining us now at 4 o'clock. I'm Elizabeth Kling. And I'm Curtis Ming. Our news is streaming on CBS News Sacramento. A lot to get to right now at 4 o'clock. We begin our team coverage with CBS 13's Steve Large telling us what played out in and outside a Sacramento courtroom within the past hour. Steve. Yeah, very short court appearance for DeAndre Martin, uh, timing out to about 90 seconds. And uh, we have video showing him entering the courtroom uh, wearing that jailhouse orange jumpsuit and a COVID face mask. He only said one word. He responded, yeah, when a uh, judge asked him if, in fact, he was DeAndre Martin. Uh, his attorney is Linda Parisi, who would not talk about any uh, conversations they have had together, but she was asked about his demeanor today and here's what she said when we got out of now first we'll be going to that let's be mindful these are two brothers two brothers who are now more likely to spend the rest of their young adult life in prison if convicted right so this is interesting it's sad uh it's definitely sad but this is not uncommon it's not uncommon, but it's very sad, and and this is the uh, the nightmare that they help create. This looks like a gang situation between either two gangs. I, I just that level of shooting um, after a club it just doesn't make sense at all. The courtroom. It's very somber. You know, you saw in court. It's very somber. This is very, obviously very serious. Right now, the police have said that they have over 100 cell phone videos and photos in evidence, not to mention surveillance video. Do you need to see all that before you make any Absolutely. kind of uh, plea? Absolutely. Sure. I, I would expect in today's society, there would be many, many businesses on the K Street Mall have cameras. Many, you know, all of us with a cell phone camera. I mean, a cell phone also have a camera. That's your attorney. I'll see you in uh, 2060, bro. If that's your attorney, 2060. 2060. You guys are about to spend the rest of your life in prison. Um, you better hope it's a mistaken of identity. But, I mean, we know how these things go. I'm looking forward to seeing what this evidence looks like. Clown machine gun. All right, so currently DeAndre Martin is facing a charge of assault and also illegal possession of a firearm. He is not facing a homicide charge. Uh, and Lynch The reason you guys are not, they haven't put any homicide charges on anyone yet because they have to trace those bullets, right? They have to do some extensive investigation. Where did those bullets go? Who did they hit? Um, you know, me personally, if this was my case, I'm charging them from every person that was outside you get an account for example if there were 60 people that were outside and you shot into a crowd of 60 people you're getting 60 counts of aggravated assault attempted murder i don't care i'm throwing it all on you the whole entire book you're getting it you know we have to get to a point in this country where people say oh we don't like being tough on crime you have to there has to be a strong message that's put out um Curving crime, curving the idea of crime, especially this level of violence, it just has to be. And it's unfortunate. Um, you're going to have a lot of people who are going to push back on it. But, nah, man, the violence in this country, is just it's at an all-time high, and it's really ridiculous. Some people say it's COVID. I don't think it has anything to do with COVID, to be honest with you. I just don't. Just the erosion of morality over time is just starting to seep into all cracks of this country. Linda Parisi was saying that she doesn't know uh, from the evidence that uh, has been submitted so far into police uh, evidence what the case looks like. So they did not enter any plea today. Uh, this case was continued to April 26th when DeAndre Martin will be back in front of a judge. So, so that's why no one's charged with murder yet, you guys. They have to find out what bullet touched who and which gun it came from. And so I think they're going to hold off on that. Uh, I want to learn more about these suspects, though.
Let's look at the criminal history of Smiley Martin. As we know, he was an early release uh, out of prison, and so uh, we want to know why. And well, let's take a listen to what exactly his history looks like, whether or not he should have, he should have been released. In the what we place. know, Madison. Well, Smiley Martin has a history, a criminal history that is that dates back nearly a decade. And there was no mincing of words in a letter to the Board of Parole hearings written by a deputy district attorney in the Sacramento County DA's office when they described Smiley as someone with little regard for human life. Mm. Who is Smiley Martin, is the 27-year-old facing charges in relation to Sacramento's worst mass shooting in history? including possession of a machine gun. To start, he was let out of a 10-year prison sentence early. Why? According to the California Department of... 10-year prison sentence. He was let out early. One would argue if he was sent there for 10 years, he deserved to be there for 10 years. Now, I know some people are going to feel some kind of way when I say that, you guys. Listen. <sighs> what are we doing? Our system, people say the system's broken. It is broken. It is broken. And it needs some repair. It needs selective repair. And this is a perfect example why. But I will say this too, though. You have people who get released early and they completely turn their life around. And then you have some people who get released early and they abuse that. They abuse it. They abuse it. And it's unfortunate. Because you have people who were there for, for, for minor offenses doing a lot of time in which they can get released early. And then we release these clowns. Listen, you guys, clowns belong in the circus. Period. Clowns belong in the circus. Because when they come out here and they start acting like the clowns that they are, people get hurt. Of corrections, he came to them in January 2018 from Sacramento County with a 10-year sentence for corporal injury and assault likely to cause great bodily injury. Before he got there, he had already received 508 days of pre-sentencing credits and received a variety of additional post-sentencing credits. He was released in February of this year despite a letter to the Board of Parole hearings. The Sac County DA's office calling his criminal conduct, quote, violent and lengthy and asking mm. he not be released. Martin's criminal history outlined in that two-page letter. In January of 2013, six months before Martin turned 18, he attempted to discard an assault rifle concealed in the waistband of his clothing. He was in possession of two fully loaded 25-round magazines for the weapon and admitted to transporting weapon and magazines to potential buyers. In November of 2013, 10 months after he was placed what? on felony probation, Martin pled to robbery charges and was sentenced to two years in state prison. In November of 2016, he was charged with and pled to giving false information to a peace officer. Less than six months later, he assaulted his girlfriend, causing visible injuries. Investigations revealed he assisted and encouraged her to be a prostitute. So what we're dealing with is a menace to society. That's what we're dealing with. You guys, mind you, this gentleman was shot. He was one of the ones who was shot. He was one of the victims that was shot at the scene. He's a menace to society. What are your thoughts? Should he have been released early, you guys? Is anybody in agree agreeance with that? Should he have been released early? What sense? Look at his history. You gave him 10 years and you let him out early. I've seen it. I've seen it all too many times, you guys. I've seen it all too many. I've had guys I've arrested for armed robbery, attempted murder, and they are at home before I get off of work. And when you hear the way they talk to the judge, oh, Oh, your honor, I, I'm in school trying to learn. I just got a job. I have a baby on the way, your honor, please. Can I just get bond? The judge is like, ah, oh, yeah. He's not a flight risk. 
He just shot a convenience store worker and robbed him. He just put somebody in a freezer. He stabbed an officer. He ran somebody over. You guys, this is, and they go to court and the judge is just. That's why when people say, and you know, and he's African American, right? You know, you guys, embarrassing enough, unfortunately, you know, my community commits almost half of the most violent offenses in this country. And we complain that we say there's too many black people in prison. What is he going to do when he gets back out of jail, out of prison? You know, you guys, they call it the correctional system. There's nothing that's corrective about it at all. This, it's, it has to be done on self. Like it, You're responsible for correcting yourself, wanting to change, wanting to get back into society and live a, 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 a life of peace and happiness a life of uh, being an out, of outstanding citizen. That's on you. The government's job is not to correct you. Prison is a timeout. And a lot of times it's more of an educational system for those to, to learn how to be better criminals. But you're in charge of changing yourself. Obviously, it's not working with this gentleman. It's not. Martin pled to two felony charges that led to that 10-year sentence in state prison he'd later be released early from. The result of these crimes had the SAC DA's office write, quote, if he is released early, he will continue to break the law. Mm. Now, both of the Martin brothers uh, are facing charges related to the shooting, but that third suspect, Devion Dawson, who's now actually out on bail that was arrested just today, and that was announced he was charged with possession of a firearm as a... Out on bail. <laughs> what I tell you? Just like that. Out on bail, you guys. Welcome to America. If this is any other country, no way, right? But... Mass shooting. Is he going to stick around for the investigation? Let me give you my ideas on, on, on criminal justice reform. What do I see? How should, it, how should it turn out? You know what they should do? Some people are not going to like this. But listen, if you are involved in a violent crime or offense and you're under investigation... If you want to be bonded out, you want to be out and run around here, then you need to be tagged. You need to be tagged and GPS tracked, right? You lose your you lose your rights as a criminal under investigation. We need to know where you're going and 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 see cuz what ends up happening is these guys they they skip town, they leave or they get stopped again cuz they're doing something else they have no business doing. They're still committing crimes, some of them. And they're just back out here repeating the same the same crap. It's crazy. You guys have no idea how people are on parole, on probation, and they're back at doing the same antics they're doing that got them in jail in the first place, got them arrested in the first place. So, so one of them's out. Two of them are still in. Not surprised. Uh, I bet you if, if the one that got out, if he, uh, I guarantee you, he's not going to stick around. He's not. Anyways, you guys, what do you think about the criminal history? Look, you're getting a little backstory about these suspects. Do you feel that the court system has failed, right? They released released him early. Now look at him. You have him and his brother, both entangled in this situation. Lives were lost because of it. So, you know, let's see who else gets arrested as the investigation unfolds. Very tragic situation again. Let me know your thoughts, you guys. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, good night. God bless.